Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anywash and yes, I'm coming to you all the way from Malaysia. Okay, so yes, the land of these where we you, you where they make those SKXs. Although I have no idea where I where are the SKX factory. Okay, so anyway, let's get to the watch the the to the subject of the day, which is a review, a full review for this particular Vostok seven ten six three four, which. Yeah, the 710 it means it's the case shape or better known as the ministry case shape and 634 is the model number which is uh, featuring this um, scuba dude dial in black okay so let's check out the packaging that it came yeah your typical Vostok um, plastic box nothing new here and you just open it up and you can see we they, we've got a Vostok um, what do you call this um, I can't read. It must have mentioned Amphibia here. And we have a warranty card which I don't know if I could send it out. And we have a your normal manual instruction and it's all written written in Russian so I'm not gonna be able to read it. Anyway, it comes with this plastic bubble wrap here and we've got this hideous arm um, not arm um, hair pulling bracelet. Oh my god, I hate this bracelet. <laughs> and that is why you can see that it is still wrapped up in its original plastic because I don't even bother to take it out or resize the bracelet, right? So, yeah, you know what? Um, Ghost seems to, you know, kind kind of stuck in the past, but that may that is maybe to their favor, right? So, let's take the box out of the way. Boom. Okay. So, oh, I think I'm going to need that bracelet back so on the bracelet let's see let's just see how it weighs right so the bracelet uh if you want to put you know just put the watch here and the bracelet this is on if you are to wear this this thing in on bracelet so you're gonna it's going to be about 130 grams which is quite nice nice weight it's so so it's not really that heavy at all but if you wear it on this strap, so this is a um, French military, French paratrooper style strap from AliExpress. I've done a review for this particular piece. On this strap, it's just gonna weigh about 70 or 80 grams, so very, very lightweight on the wrist, right? So let's take, take it out of the way, right? So what do we have? Oh, the case dimension is about this is a 41 millimeter from here to here, fro, uh, from here to here, and 46 millimeters from here to here. And the thickness is about 15 millimeters, quite tall, but it works because I just love this um, cushion style case or ministry case or whatever you want to call it. Because apparently I am a fan of the Seiko Turtle Putty. Uh, I have the Putty version here. You can see that this one also has a 47 millimeters lug to lug with so it is a bigger watch at 44 millimeters but you can see because of the short lug to lug it's wearable on my skinny 6.75 inch so but not we're not talking about the uh party total here but we're talking about the full stock amphibious scuba dude right so i've had another another version of this uh, vostok amphibia I think two years, two years back, uh, a blue scuba dude. The case is I can't remember the the case series, but it's not this type of case. It's the um, hidden luck style case, right? So and I've I've got another Vostok Commandirski, and both of them I sold to get me one of these, <laughs> right? So the Casio Rangeman, right? I think I've sold one Vostok Amphibia and I think three. Three Vostok Commander Ski because I, I I was like oh those these Russian watches are crap they, they you can't it just it doesn't have any <laughs> it doesn't have any uh, quick set date the the crystal uh, the crystal scratches like crazy and why don't I got myself a proper modern watch in the shape of the G Shock Rangeman right so what comes around goes around uh, this is like you know what the um, a, a, a plain vanilla Volkswagen Golf with a, with a lot of features that finally you think that I, you don't really use but in the end 
I've gone back full circle and bought myself another Vostok. <laughs> this is like, you know, a BMX bicycle, you know, those funky 15-inch uh, BMX that we used to ride during our, our childhood. And this is what it is. It's pretty basic. It has an automatic movement, a hand winding capable. You can hand winding this thing, but it doesn't hack. Right, so when I open the crown, it has this super cool loose, um, loose wobbly, wobbly crown here. You can wind it. I can show you how. All right, so this wobbly crown, crown, you can wind it like so. Oops, you can wind it. I think you can hear the winding sound. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Maybe adjusting the light. Yeah, so very, very smooth winding. Alright, so you can, it's not hacking if let's say I pull out the crown to the furthest, oh, so you can, you can adjust the time like so, like that. So pretty nice adjustment, the ones that I have before is pretty wobbly, pretty wonky, so not that good, but yeah, you can see that we can easily wind it. And of course, typical of this Vostok 8, uh, 19,800 bits per hour movement, uh, it doesn't have any quick set date. So if you want to change the date, so you just have to go one full circle and boom, boom, it changes date to 9th of August. And if you, let's say you want to go further, you just have to pass it to uh, 1 o'clock. And then turn back. You please check out the movement of the date wheel. Let me see if I can give you more lights here. So you can just check, just check out the the, the, date, the date wheel, right? So it somehow when it goes back to num to ten o'clock, it will go up a bit, like so, and then it goes down again. Like that. That means it's gonna be jumping to the next day yep like so <laughs> that's kind of really really annoying thing if let's say you you have quite a lot of collection in your uh in your if you've got lot if got if you, if you've got quite a lot of watches in your collection and you only want to use it and suddenly the date is out so you have to do that all over again so that is one of the main reason why i sold it in the first place but you know what Things like this, yeah, you know, some some say this is a charm of the watch. I don't know, but yeah, it's you know, <laughs> it's it's that that quirk that makes us attracted to this four stock, right? So, this black dial is a matte black dial with that uh, scuba dude uh, logo down here. We've got, I have no idea what it is said, and we have a loom pip. This circular thing is loom pip all over the watch, and we have the number numerals twelve, nine, and six. And we have a yeah, printed date window over here, and of course the polishing on this uh, case. This is a stainless steel case, by the way. It's nice, not that spectacular, but you don't really you can't really expect nothing much from a seventy or was it sixty five dollars watch? Was it? Yeah, something like that. And no, I, I think I bought it for seventy bucks. I can't remember. So anyway, the bezel, of course, this is a non-clicking bezel unidirectional bezel which is pretty useless <laughs> but it's kind of quirky and as if you see from this angle you can see that it looks because of that super tall plastic crystal it looks like a ufo right yeah that is pretty nice ufo and you can see because this is a plastic crystal i've managed to scratch it on right here and of course we i can always you know polish it up right so at the back so let's see the case back oh come on come on come on come on right so we have this amphibia down here water resistant 200 meters i have no idea what this one says but of course it, we have this ring uh whereby it is a you know what a design choice by Vostok to make it much much more durable or uh, much much more uh, yeah, it's it's for reliability, right? So it's it features that cool design aspect of this uh, watch, right? So uh, I forgot to mention about the second hand, which is in red. So you can see that because of the slow bit movement of the watch, 
you can see that it's ticking very very slowly so let's just compare it to a 28,000 bits per hour watch in this stacking stacking watch so you can see that that's second hand so uh, flows smoothly compared to the Vostok second hands yeah you can see that 19,800 19, versus 28,800 movements a uh, bit per hour movements uh, yeah you can see that <laughs> yeah of course this watch is built, built for reliability and for diving purposes right okay so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist okay so let's see of course i like to use it oops i like to use it on this um marine national style straps it's although the thickness is about 15 millimeters it's not really that bad you can see that on my wrist it looks just nice because of the the short lug to lug of 46 millimeters i if i can pull off a seiko turtle i definitely can pull off this four stock amphibia damn that looks really nice i just love <laughs> uh maybe maybe in the future i would like to do a modification to this particular watch so maybe of course i've changed out the strap maybe i would like to change the bezel as well so maybe i'm gonna be putting a um a one to what do you call it 12 hour dial uh, no 12 hour bezel here so that i can use it as a gmt watch i don't know i will i'm searching for this one for the, the proper bezel for this particular piece and also i think i'm gonna be getting those new vostok Kommandirski. yeah we'll see we'll see in the future so if you guys have uh, this similar Vostok Amphibia 710634, please go ahead and give your user, user opinion. If you like this kind of video review, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more future videos such as this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to press the bell notification twice so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, I forgot the loom shot again. Ah, come on, man. Right, so I'm going to be charging this one a bit. So the loom is... Okay, so not really that bad. So you can see those loom pips and the hour hand and minute hand is okay-ish. So you can see that the loom on the hour and minute hand is much stronger compared to the uh, hour indices. But yeah, it you know what? It's, it's going to be good for about four to five hours if you charge it properly not that bad but certainly not as strong as the one on the Seiko Turtle this is a uh, loom king guys loom king okay so now we can end this video bye bye